Good morning, Todd Thornton here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you for joining us this morning. Today I've got the honor of showing you guys a 2024 Renegade Explorer 38 EMB. Um, built on the Cascadia chassis. It's the new P4 chassis with 525 horsepower and 1,850 pounds of torque. This little compact Super C is one of my favorite coaches because it's a single bath, um, beautifully laid out coach that uh, I'll share with you today. So today we're gonna start right here. We're gonna go through this and we'll go all the way around the coach and we'll come in inside. Um, but all the Explorers, there's two, two models on the Explorer. There's a 40 foot bath and a half and then this 38 foot uh, EMB mid bath. They are all gonna be powered or heated by the Aquahot 450D. That is gonna give your primary heat source, your hot water on demand, your engine preheat, all through the Aquahot system. Beautiful system, easy to use. Here we're gonna have a couple compartment bays. Uh, these are all bed liner. Uh, they've got the bed liner thing, so they're not gonna scratch, gonna hold up very well. Something new for this year, they've removed the wall that connects the two bays here. So if you've got a larger um, flagpole or something you want to put through it is there it's one thing about the super C's they don't have the traditional pass-through storage like a class A has so these anytime you can have a, a larger space it's good this one was ordered in with the sofa option so here's an extra ottoman for the sofa we've got your Victron 3000 watt inverter you also have the Victron solar controllers here too. So that's all right there, easy to get to. Moving around, this one is the Polaris color. Uh, for 2024, there's seven color options. Two of them are the solid colors. One is uh, solid white and this is the solid gray. And then there's five options with the different uh, graphics packages. This one is optioned in with the blackout package. So you're going to have the blacked out mirrors. All the stuff that would be chrome is now blacked out. To me it looks really good. Blacked out. Moving around and this is the DD13 525 horsepower. You are gonna have a single 120 gallon fuel tank and a 13 gallon DEF tank, diesel exhaust fluid. You've got three electric slides on this coach. This is gonna be one and the two in the bedroom are electric. The one on the passenger side is a hydraulic slide. Here, you're gonna have the upgraded option of the lithium batteries. These are three 270 amp hour lithium batteries by Dragonfly. Or you can do the standard 310 amp hour AGM batteries is the other option. And then you got your two chassis or three chassis batteries up top. You got an airline right here. You can hook a air chuck in there to fill up your tires, toys, anything like that. So next two compartments will be the gray and black tank. You have a 75 gallon gray tank, 75 gallon black tank with a 150 or 275 gallon freshwater tanks. You got the built-in RV SantaCon system, much cleaner than the old traditional dump style or hose style. You've got the Renegade's patented water bay here where everything's etched in. They have switched over to the sea level two tank monitors. So they've got a monitor here and inside. Very easy to read, more accurate than the old style. You got a full house filter, fresh hose or fresh water hose. Everything's really nice and laid out. Very user friendly in the bay, uh, not confusing or anything like that. The Explorers all come with a 
8,000 quiet diesel generator, which is going to be provide you plenty of power for the two ACs on top. Um, you really don't need anything more than an 8,000 generator, but there's no other option. That is what they put in them. Here you got your auto transfer switch with the surge protector built in. You've got a 50 amp power cord here, uh, a 110 plug right back here. Again, very nice and easy and laid out, user friendly. Moving around to the back of the coach, uh, you can see you got your reverse camera, backup camera right there. You've got a 20,000 pound uh, tow hitch. Uh, with a tongue weight of about 2,000 pounds. You got your built-in airlines right there for if you had a trailer with some airline. You got the airlines right there. You got your Voyager camera system right here. So if your horse trailer or your car trailer has cameras inside of it, you can plug it in there and we'll be able to access it on the uh, dashboard camera or monitor. You also have a seven-way plug and your generator exhaust out the back versus out the side. Moving on around, and here you're going to have the, uh, up there is the optional central vacuum system with the hoses and everything right there. So you can plug it inside, do your vacuuming inside. You can also plug in the hose right here to clean out your compartment base, anything like that. Uh, all Renegades come with a uh, full box of tiles in case you break one. You're going to have the same um, finish, I guess you would, if on the tiles. Now this one was optioned in with the Truma exterior refrigerator freezer on a slide tray. Some people like this option, some don't. It's great for extra, obviously, refrigerator freezer storage. Um, but it does kind of obstruct your three-quarter pass-through storage down there. So you can still kind of get to it. It just makes it a little harder. And that's why Truma. Before we go inside, you got your docking lights right here on both sides. You got your keyless entry system. And obviously your auto steps. Um, here you've got your screen, and obviously those steps are not turned off right now. So they will go in and out every time you open the door or the screen. Uh, before we go inside, this also has a Samsung Smart TV out here with the Bose soundbar, actually JBL soundbar. And this obviously it can also come out and swivel and turn wherever you're sitting. Kind of get the glare off of it. Pull that down. And then come on in, we'll show you the 38 EMB Renegade Explorer. Again, one of my favorite coaches because it's very clean, very uh, user friendly. Um, when you start looking at it, this is the hydraulic slide. And then we got the three electric slides. Uh, but let's start up here in the cab area. This is the Freightliner P4 chassis uh, by Cascadia. One nice thing is it's going to have your navigation system, all your Bluetooth stuff into that, um, that monitor. Up here, you're going to have your cameras, your side cameras, your backup camera, your trailer camera, everything's there. You have a CB, it's all pre-wired for the CBs right here. A little storage up here. This is also um, your main awning controller right there. We'll go through these. This one is your <clears throat> EQ Smart Level Equalizer System, uh, leveling system, over the air antenna and your cab ceiling lights override. That's these lights right here. Now this coach, we've installed Starlink system. So this is a, all the Renegades have a great spot to put the Starlink. So this is permanently mounted with the Starlink in motion system. 
This cabinet color is the new uh, Rockport finish that Renegade is using pretty frequently now. It's a uh, kind of a mix between light, light and dark. Um, looks really good. Right here, you've got a 40, a 50 inch 4K smart television by Samsung that is on a televator with a sound bar that stays out all the time. But if you are having guests over, you can put this down, have access to your windows and still have your sound bar on for, for music, what, whatever you want. So uh, right here in front of me, this is the, like I said, this coach is really made for, for two people as this booth is literally for two people. Um, two people booth with a little thing. It doesn't pull out, doesn't do anything like that. It is what it is. Um, you've got your day night shades by MCD on all the windows. Over here, this one was optioned with the couch um, with a hide -a bed in here. And then it's got the ottomans downstairs that I was showing you. You do have the option to order it in with theater seating also. So if theater seating works better for you or the couch, that is an option. You said tons of storage in this little guy. You've got right over here, you've got a Samsung 1.7 cubic foot microwave. Oh, that's so new, we didn't even take the latch off. That, you've got a Two burner true induction cooktop. So, like many of these, there's no propane on board on this coach. It is an all electric coach with induction cooktops, residential refrigerator right here. This is an 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. And it's the new style, so there's no handles anywhere on this one. This is one of my favorite little areas right here. First of all, you got your satellite controls, Blu-ray player you can put right here for your TV stuff. But down here, you got a kind of an open bar area. You can put your Keurig machine, uh, coffee machine, deep fryer, anything like that kind of right here. And you've got massive storage underneath here. So you got a little storage up here, a little deeper one here. And obviously the big one down here. So you never have enough storage. And then across from here, you got a monster pullout drawer. And all these are um, the dovetail soft closed drawers. More storage down there. Probably asking yourself, where do we put our wastebasket? There's plenty of room right in that little corner for a wastebasket. Right next to the, uh, that is your base for your sound bar. But yeah, all these drawers are soft closed, as you can see. More storage. You've got a big stainless steel sink with a pull out sprayer. <laughs> then then by, on the side of me right here, you got more storage up here. And a little more storage down here for canned goods or you name it. So moving into the mid ship, again, you're gonna have more storage here and here. And these are all adjustable shelvings all the way up. Like many of the Renegades, this is your uh, Firefly control system. This is where you're going to control all your slides. Um, one thing is you can download the app real quick and you can control everything from your, your phone. But on the home button, you got your master lights on and off. You got your, all your tank levels. You got your aqua hot burner, whether it be on, a, on the diesel, electric, aqua hot preheat, auto gen start your house and chassis batteries, all your lights. You can individually turn them on and off. Uh, anytime they have the up and down arrow, you can hold it and it'll dim them. 
You got your rear lighting, exterior lighting, porch awning storage. You got your thermostat. This will control obviously your air conditioners, the two ACs up top, your aqua hot, your floor heat, uh, front and rear floor heat, your vent fans. There's your aqua hot burners again. Uh, here, your TV lift, your bedroom fan. It is the bedroom uh, fan above the bedroom, we'll see, or bed. And then, like I said, there's all your slides, leveling system, mobile app, all that good stuff. So very, very easy system to use. Um, very rarely have any issues with that system. Here we got the mid bath, and I'm gonna show you. I'm six foot, and this is a plenty big shower for me. Got a little skylight here. You've also got a little spray wand, take a shower, or you can mount it to the wall right here and it'll spray down. And we've got it also with the teak seat here for you can sit or shave your legs, anything you got to do there. You got your commode right there. Some good storage for such a little space here. This one, medicine cabinet. You got your sink right here. Kind of a small sink, but very usable. And more space down there, so. Behind us, you got tons of storage on the top here. Now this one can be converted into a um, coat rack, if you will, or, or clothes hangers. These are all adjustable, or you can remove these and have shirts, anything like that. This is your uh, power control center. This is gonna be where all your breakers are, all beautifully labeled. And you've got your Victron uh, energy controller right here. Shows what's coming in, what's inverting, uh, your power, your solar, everything is right there. Also a very easy downloadable app to control that. Not a whole lot you do there though. <clears throat> Moving in here, you got a stack washer, roll, washer and dryer. These are by Splendid. One nice thing I like about them is they are individually stacked with a shelf between them. So if you have a problem with this one and you have to replace it, you're, it's, it's easy to get this one out versus having them connected, anything like that. Now, if you order one in without this option, they are all still pre-prepped for uh, this option. So some people elect to uh, order them in with more storage with some shelves in here. Well, if the time comes where you wanna put in one of these, uh, it's already pre plumbed for it. Making our way back in here into the bedroom. You got on each side of the bedroom or each side of the TV here. This is a 32 inch 4K smart television. And then you got hanging clothes rods on both sides. And obviously soft closed drawers on each side. Storage. Again, down here, you're gonna have for your satellite control or Blu-ray players, anything like that. Um, all these TVs being smart TVs, you will be able to download, say, YouTube TV or Netflix, anything like that, and stream it directly from your internet service. In this case, the Starlink. More draw here. They do a very nice job with all their wood construction. You got an emergency exit window here um, that is open. You can open it at any time. Built-in screens and again, the day-night shades. Back here, I'll lift this up underneath here. You're gonna have your Here's your two 75 uh, gallon freshwater tanks. You can see your aqua hot exchanges are here, one on each side. You can see where the uh, antifreeze type glycol system goes through there, heats it up, and the fans blow it out to give you your primary heat. You got your water pump right here. A nice thing about it, it is a little noisier when you're sleeping if the water pump kicks on, but if you were to ever half this, uh, if the water pump were to 
to fail. It's very easy to get to and, uh, and replace yourself. Here you've got multiple cabinets. They have elected to put a uh, 110 plug in the back here. So you can use that to charge stuff. If you have a CPAP machine, anything like that, it's kind of what that's for. Up here, you've got your control system. This is going to do your generator start stop, turn off your, all your uh, master light switches, reading lights, anything like that. Both windows on the side of the bed open up with screens and they also have the day night shades. This is their king bed. Um, don't hold me to this. I believe it is 75. Ooh, I can't remember the, the measurements, but I think it's 75 long. So it's not quite a real king, uh, more of an RV king size bed. But with the limited space and the cabinets up here, that's kind of what you get on this model. There's your fan overhead. And then your second AC here in the bedroom. So you got one in the front, one in the back. Close these vents to force the air out of the ducts. And once you go up here, take your time. I'm going to put these two front slides in. I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, with the slides in. So this is the one of the electric slides. Moves very smoothly, but this slide on the opposite side, the hydraulic slide moves extremely fast. It's pretty impressive, watch this. So that's in, and then we'll put the uh, retract. How fast that bad boy moves. <laughs> so when the slides are in, Big question is, can you still utilize the coach with the slides in? Let's say you're stuck at Raton Pass in the snowstorm. They got the highway closed and all the trucks there. Um, they don't like you putting slides out. You can see that it's very easy to walk through this coach. You can sleep here. Um, when the slides are in the back, both of them in, you can still access the bed. There's nothing on the bed that goes underneath the cabinet or anything, so you're not cutting off any of the bed. So again, very usable coach from everything. Getting to the bathroom, uh, one of the nice things I like about this, some of the coaches out there, when you put the opposing slides in, this is so thin right here that it's hard to get through. This one, as you can see, I'm, you just tilt, slightly tilt and you can walk through pretty easily. So, uh, beautiful feature. Um, and I think that is the nutshell of the 2024 Renegade Explorer uh, 38 EMB. Like I said, they also have a 40 foot version of this with a bath and a half, uh, a little bit different floor plan with a more traditional um, booth, if you will, to, uh, to set four. This is more for two people. You can real quick before we, we go, if you're sitting here, if you're not on a real bumpy road, you can put that TV up here. So someone could be driving, the other person could be um, Watching TV, doing some work back here. Um, and I think that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, this is a 2024 Renegade uh, 38 EMB. Give me a call on that number, wherever it's at on there, or send me an email, todd.thornton at transwest.com. Be more than happy to help you out, whether it be on something like this or any of the new Mars we carry. Uh, give us a call. We're here to help you and uh, make some deals. Appreciate it, guys.